Hi, welcome to this virtual box. I'm going to press Ctrl F. It's going to realign itself and this is my full screen. We are working actually on the Article Linux 1903 version. I've made a video how to keep rolling and what all changed in April. And last but not least, I've changed my LSB release and I've changed it to 04.4. But basically, the point is if you want to, you can keep on rolling and you don't need to reinstall every month or every six months. You can just update and update and keep on working on your system. The video we're going to, uh, the topic of the video is going to be an, an alias. If we, if we follow the video about the update, about keeping rolling from, from March till the April, you'll see that I've made two folders with backup scale. And if you compare them, you see the differences what we've done in one month's time. Not just, it's not complete in the sense that this is just ETC scale because there are other packages that go to your user share, your ETC and so on. But it gives you already a clue of what's changing in your system. What I'm gonna talk about is an alias. The alias CB has been made a little bit longer as you see, this thing has grown in size. So we're going to talk about um, bash or C and a command called CB. Remember, copy bash. We're going to copy the bash over to something. Let's first analyze. You have in your Arch Linux system bash or C and bash or C latest. If you compare these guys, we have here a um, list of changes and the list to the left is the one from March. So remember, I used the ISO from March and then updated. The right one is then the new Bash RC that we've used on the ISO of April. So there's a difference between April and, and March. Now, the thing is, Bash RC latest will never be used. We use it to build our ISOs and so on. But Linux says, if it's not called bash rc i won't look at it so basically you do a manual check and you do click here and everything is solved but what if we don't want to do this manual checkup every time again remember we have 28 isos we test them out um, so yeah we want to have our aliases ready and not copy paste everything over and try to figure out all the things with melt once we know what changes we just want a quick alias. So CB is going to copy paste. Let's read this. Copy paste everything from Bash or C latest over on the Bash or C. So this becomes identical. April version goes over the March edition. Get it loaded up, loaded up, right? And then don't forget that you don't have, we, we do have also a folder in etc scale and if you do a command like scale which actually just gonna copy paste everything from etc scale to your home directory control find scale next here is scale copy paste everything over from etc scale to your home directory so that's what this does we want also to copy paste this guy over to that guy. And you can all do it manually, no problem, just takes time. But what if there is a command that does that for you? You know why it is now? Because if you're gonna copy paste, if you're gonna type scale, this one is the March version is going to get back in again. So that's why the CB command at the, B, the CB I say it correctly, copy bash. A command is been a little bit, is made a little bit longer. Make sure that we don't forget the etc scale. This guy needs to be copy pasted over on this guy. Otherwise we'll get the March edition again, which is this one. All right, now, now let's do it. Let's see what happens. Both melts are open, right? This guy, we don't need this guy. Close and close. And Alt T to not distract you from our course here. Alt T is a shortcut for variety. Let's keep it sci-fi. Control Alt T. 
Now, since this is the first time this thing is running, we need to run CB once. That's the old CB from March. Now it has been resourced, right? The, the Bash RC has been sourced. And now I can do the long one, alias. I can have a look, Let's see that you know you're following me. This is already the long one. So with this first CB, we got the part till here. And he has copy pasted latest over to Bash RC. Now it became longer. Now I need to run it again to get the ETC scale fix. And this part has a pseudo in it because we want to write an ETC scale. If you get this, you're on the right track. So again, and then let's compare. Let's see what happens. In both cases, it's blue, meaning there needs to be, well, you need to reload because there's a change. So reload. And we actually need to type CB, otherwise we won't find it. It's here. It's a long version. So remember, left is March. March has been overwritten with the April version, which is to the left. That's done. Where are we? We are in the home directory. Okay. Home directory is fixed. Gone. This one, reload. Where are we? We are in ETC scale. Control find CB. It's fixed as well. Long March edition is overwritten with the April edition. Done. So CB is from now on, and that's why it's making I'm making a separate video about it. It's super interesting. It's just two letters. You have to type. Done. Forget all, all about it. You have got your newest Bash or C inside. So to round it off, um, what can you do if you update anything? You just first type update maybe. Well, it depends how much you want to learn. If you want to learn, you type a backup scale, right? You have a folder in your home directory, which you can, can compare to, then do an update, then do a scale after you did an update. So let's do the correct order, backup scale, update then, then maybe a scale, then maybe this copy bash, and then PKSYUA, and then you've got everything up to date. All right, have fun using the new ADS CB and let's get out here of this virtual machine.